Hey guys, Control Nets for Stable Diffusion SDXL is now available for Automatic 11.11 and I want to show you how to install and use it. For those of you who are not familiar with Stable Diffusion SDXL, it's a much larger model than Stable Diffusion 1.5 or 2.0, 2.1 and it produces more realistic images with a much better face generation. It creates more sophisticated images with shorter prompts and it even can produce legible text. Also, it's much better for larger images, as the standard image size is now 124 by 124 pixels, compared to 512 by 512 for Stable Diffusion 1.5, or 768 by 768 for Stable Diffusion 2.x. I've been working with SDXL for Automatic 11.11 for some time, and it produces great results, the only thing I've been missing so far was ControlNet, which hasn't been available for Automatic 11.11 until now. So let's get right into it and let me show you how to set it up and use it. First of all, you must ensure that you have installed the latest versions of Automatic 11.11 and ControlNet. So when you're using Windows, let's open a new command prompt and change directory to the location where your stable diffusion installation is located. Then type git pull in order to install the latest version of Automatic 11.11. If you haven't installed Automatic 11.11 yet, I will leave a link down in the description how you can easily install it. Now let's fire up the webui-user.bat and wait until it's loaded. In the Stable Diffusion web UI, go to Extensions and if the SD web UI control net extension is already installed, click on Check for updates and then apply and restart UI to ensure that the latest version of control net is installed. If you cannot find control net in your extensions lists, I will leave a link down below how to install it. Now let's have a look at control net at the text to image tab and when you see something like ControlNet 1.1.4 or 7 or later, then everything should be fine. Next I want to show you where to get the SDXL base models as well as the ControlNet models for SDXL. So let's open a new browser tab and head over to CivitAI.com. You could also download them from Hugging Face, but I think that CivitAI is more convenient. Once you are in CVDI, search for SDXL and then select the SDXL base model called SDXL. Now first download the v1.0 VAE fix, which might take a while because the file is rather big. And once it's done, also download the refiner VAE fix, which will also take you a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Once your downloads are finished, Open your file explorer and move the models into the following folder. Stable Diffusion Web UI Models Stable Diffusion. Now back to Civit AI. Let's search for ControlNet CNXL. And when you open it, you can see that there are tons of ControlNets available. I've downloaded them all, but of course I didn't have the time to test each one of them. But I will give you some examples about the ones I tried and I can already tell you that they produce quite good results and I'm going to take a deeper dive into these models in the coming days. Once you've downloaded the models, move them into your Stable Diffusion Web UI, Extensions, SD Web UI Control Net, Models folder. And that's basically all we need to do. And you can use them right away. Now back to our Stable Diffusion Web UI. And in the Stable Diffusion Checkpoint drop-down, you can find the new models. And if you don't see them, just hit the Refresh icon next to the drop-down. There is one more extension I would highly recommend you to install when you're using SDXL. So in the Extensions tab, click on Available and Load From. Then search for XL and install the Style Selector for SDXL 1.0 which will allow you to apply different styles when using SXDL. I will show you later what I mean. 
Then again, check for updates and apply and restart UI, and we are good to go. Once the UI has restarted, select the SDXL underscore V10 VAE fix as your checkpoint file, and I've already prepared a prompt to test it. Down below you can see the SDXL styles region. That's the extension we installed before. And you can choose among a great variety of styles to apply to your SDXL renderings. You can also see a refiner button. So let's click to open it. And from the refiner checkpoint dropdown, you can select the SDXL underscore V10 refiner VAE fix. And when you render your image, there will be a second render pass with the refiner model, which will add more details to the image and gives it an overall better look. Now let's hit generate and see what we get. Looks quite good, just what we expect from SDXL. Please also note that the width and height of the image are set to 1024 by 1024 and that any lower resolution can sometimes cause quite unexpected results. So it's no problem to use higher values for the width and height, but don't get lower than say 768 by 768. Okay, now let's activate our new control nets. Let's enable the first one and choose a guiding image. I'm using Canny as a preprocessor and I'm using one of the control net models which has downloaded from the models dropdown. Just play with the different models and see what you like most. I also click on control net is more important, but again just try it out and see what you like most. For the second control net I use open pose, but let's first choose the same guiding image. Then choose the open pose preprocessor and one of the models we just downloaded. Then again hit generate and you will see that the new control nets are now working and they produce quite a good result. I'm really excited that the new control net models for SDXL are working that well. It's just what's been missing in Automatic 11.11 until now and I'm looking forward to using these models in the next future. Especially for video production, which I hope will lead to much better results than in Stable Diffusion 1.5. I will keep you up to date and when I find out something new and meaningful, I'm going to post another video. But that's all for me today and if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate asking me. I do hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. So bye for today and see you next time.